Single mom spent all her money on old sofa. Then her friend found something shocking inside. Julia bought a used sofa she found online, and her friend Vinny brought it to her studio apartment. However, he felt something strange when he sat on it, thinking it could have a faulty spring. He investigated and discovered something even more astonishing. I'm glad you decided to buy this sofa, Julia. You were sleeping on the floor, and I was getting worried. Vinny said, wiping his hands clean after setting down the used sofa she purchased in her studio apartment in New Jersey. I know, my back was starting to hurt, but I can't fit a full bed in here with the baby's things, so this sofa will have to do. It's comfy, right? She commented cheerfully and looked at the crib in the corner of the apartment. I'm just glad all that noise we made didn't wake the baby. Before we continue, please take some time to subscribe to Daily Dose, like and share this video with your friends. It might brighten their day and inspire them to do good. Also keep watching because an important lesson awaits at the end of the video. Julia was a single mother who worked as a waitress at a local restaurant slash bar. She got some generous tips, but almost all her money went to the baby's expenses. She dreamed of moving somewhere else, but her studio apartment was fine for now. Unfortunately, she had been sleeping on the floor and her back started to hurt. A sofa was a great solution. This one looked comfortable in the pictures online, and she had used the last of her money on it. What could this be? He wondered, lifting the cloth and finding an envelope. It must have belonged to the old owner. It seems pretty comfy, even if it's a little ugly and worn. I need to sit. That flight of stairs almost killed me, Vinny joked. He was her oldest friend and her biggest support since she had her son, unlike the biological father, who ran away quickly after hearing about her pregnancy. All right, all right, sit for a while, but I don't want any butt imprints on it. Let me get you a Coke, Julia said, and went to her kitchen, which was only a few paces away. Vinny bounced on the couch, but something poked his bottom. Oh, geez, he muttered and frowned as he stood up. He looked at the sofa, thinking Julia might have bought one with faulty or broken springs, which would be a huge shame. He started feeling around the cushions. Nothing. He pushed the cushion harder and thought he felt something again. He lifted it and saw a cut in the fabric and something bulging from underneath. What could this be? He wondered, peeking through the cut and finding an envelope. It must have belonged to the old owner. He checked the contents of the envelope and his eyes widened in shock. It was a stash of cash. Hundred-dollar bills were stacked together tightly inside the envelope. Vinny realized this could be the solution to Julia's problems, but he darted his eyes to his friend, who was pouring coke into glasses full of ice, and he knew immediately she wouldn't keep the money. She would go right to the owner and give it back. Julia was a good woman, through and through. Maybe I should take it and start depositing it in her account anonymously, he planned. But as Julia finished serving the Cokes, he knew he couldn't do that either. He was also a good person. They needed to give this money back. Hey Jules, I found something on your couch, he revealed, raising the envelope as she brought over his glass. Julia was shocked by the wads of money and put down the Cokes quickly to call the old owner, Mr. Brown. Mr. Brown is home. We should take it now, Julia said preparing her stroller to take the baby with them. Come on, let's go. Vinny sighed as he rose from the couch and helped her with the stroller down the stairs. It only took a few minutes to reach the older man's place, and he almost cried, thanking them for bringing the money back. Jesus, anyone else would have kept the money. It took years and years to save all that. I had completely forgotten about it. The older man revealed, giving Julia a tight hug of gratitude. No way, Mr. Brown. I would never keep someone else's money like that. But better keep it someplace you won't forget about, Julia joked, and Vinny smiled at her friend. She was such a beautiful person inside and out. Oh, for sure. But listen, since you were so kind enough to return my money, I want to offer you some more things. Completely free. I have a coffee table, a tiny desk, and a few more things to give away. How does that sound? Mr. Brown offered kindly. Vinny knew this friend would reject the offer, 
even though she could use those items in her small apartment. So he replied before she could, we will gladly accept it. Thank you, Mr. Brown. Julia raised her eyebrows at him, but Vinnie pretended not to see her as Mr. Brown guided them to his garage. I'm moving to a senior community soon, and I had planned on selling all of these things, but honestly, I think they would be better off with someone who truly needs them. You've proven you're an honest person, so you deserve them, the older man explained, showing them the furniture pieces. Julia finally shrugged because she could use them, and Vinny said that he could store whatever didn't fit in her apartment while she saved to move to another place. It took a while to transport all the pieces one by one while taking turns watching the baby, but soon, her apartment was filled with new furniture, and it didn't seem so sad and poor now. At the end of the day, Julia was nursing her son on the old sofa, and Vinny was sitting on her new armchair. Thank you, Vinny, for everything. And for accepting all this on my behalf, Julia said. It makes this seem so much like home now, even if it's small. It is a home, Julia. I'm so proud of you. What you're doing all alone. Not many people can do it, he said, his lips twisting in guilt that he might not be doing enough for his friend and her baby. I have not been alone for one second of this journey, this motherhood. You've been with me all along. I can only hope to be as great a friend to you as you have to me. Julia responded, smiling warmly at her friend. I don't know where I would be without you. You'll never have to find out, he replied. I'll always be here. I know you'll be with me too. And he kept that promise for the rest of their lives. What can we learn from this story? Honesty always pays off in the end. Julia could have kept the stash of money, but she was honest. And in the end, her actions paid off as she got a generous gift in the return. The best friendships are never ending and unconditional. Vinny was there for Julia through thick and thin, and she hoped to be as great a friend to him.